Hello, my name is Cameron Popal and today we're going to study breast examination on a mannequin. During the process of this examination, I would be speaking aloud a lot of other things as well because there's some limitations of examination that we cannot perform on the mannequin that we would be doing in real life on a patient. So, starting off with when you go in the room, so I'll be walking you through it. You go in the room, you see a patient, uh, and you have to perform a breast examination. You first of all introduce yourself, greet the patient, and confirm the identity of the patient. After you've done all that, you need to tell the patient why you're there. You need to examine the breast of that patient. And then take the consent after explaining what you're going to do. After the patient has consented, you have to make sure that there's someone with you while you perform the examination. You have to ensure the privacy of the patient. If you are in a hospital setting, it can be a nurse or any other staff who can come along with you in the examination. If it is an OSCE station and you're doing it as a part of an exam, what you can do is that you can make a statement by saying, I will ensure the privacy of the patient by asking the examiner to be the chaperone. You do not need to ask the, chap uh, ask the examiner to be the chaperone, you can just make a statement that you'd like the examiner to be the chaperone so that they know that you've ensured the privacy of the patient before the breast examination. So first of all, we need to do inspection of the patient. And before that, we need to ask the patient to adequately expose. So after adequately exposing the patient, we need to look uh, and inspect the patient. So in this, considering that this is a patient, uh, we can see that there's some discharge coming out of the right nipple. Uh, there's some redness on the right side of the breast. Uh, there's no obvious swellings, there's no scar marks, no sinuses. Uh, I can also appreciate some orange peel-like skin on the left side. Um, and I can also appreciate an inverted nipple on the left side. So that's my inspection. But in real life, you also have to make certain positions in which you will be inspecting the patient. So, what you're going to do with the patient in real life would be, you'd be asking him to place her hands on the waist and asking her to squeeze and then check for obvious masses in that position. After that, you're going to ask the patient to bend forward a bit and see if there are any masses obvious in that position. Then you're going to ask the patient to place the hands behind the head like this and see if there are any obvious masses or if there's any auxiliary fullness. And then the last two things that you have to do is to ask the patient to lift her breasts to look for any inframammary eczema and also to squeeze the nipples to see for any discharge or bleeding. On palpation, when the patient's properly exposed, what you're going to first of all do is to check for temperature and check for the relevant quadrants on both sides. So there's no increased temperature on either side of my patient. After checking the temperature, just look for the comfort of the patient continuously during this examination and talk to the patient uh, by telling her, please let me know if you feel any discomfort or pain and I'll stop right there. And also tell me I'll be touching you gently now and let me know if you feel any pain. Go, go in an anti-clockwise manner. I'm doing the superficial palpation at the moment and there are no obvious masses on superficial palpation. Look at the patient's face, make sure that they're comfortable. So that's the superficial palpation of both breasts. After that, tell the patient that I'll be touching a bit deeply now. Please let me know if you feel any discomfort or pain and I'll stop right there. So yes, I can feel a mass in the left 
outer quadrant, the left upper quadrant of the left breast, which is about two centimeters into two centimeters in size. It is smooth. It has a smooth surface. It's got a regular shape. It's attached to the underlying structures. It is not attached to the overlying skin. And it is very hard in consistency. After that, complete the deep examination and keep on looking at the patient. After doing the deep palpation, palpate the areola. So it's this is called peri areolar palpation. Use your thumb and move around the nipple, but do not touch the nipple itself. So there are no obvious masses, any periareolar masses palpable. Now you have to do the same on the right side. Anti-clockwise, deep palpation, check for the comfort of the patient. And then periareolar palpation. So there are no obvious masses on this side. So after you're done with the palpation, what you do is you check for the lymph nodes. We cannot check for lymph nodes in a mannequin properly, but there might be findings in mannequins. So the, the lymph nodes that we need to check are the axillary lymph nodes and the supraclavicular lymph nodes. So we need to check the anterior, the medial, and the epical lymph nodes. Now in a real patient, you need to check these while the patient is standing. And you have to place one arm on the patient's arm and the patient puts his arm on your arm in, by which you'll be palpating the lymph nodes. You can also look into my lymphoreticular examinations how a lymph node examination is done on a real patient so you need to check for the anterior medial and epical set of lymph nodes anteriorly and from the back of the patient you have to check for the posterior and the lateral set of lymph nodes also just ask the patient to shrug the shoulders and have a feel of the supraclavicular lymph nodes. After you're done with the examination, thank the patient, cover the patient, and talk to the examiner. If the examiner asks for a differential diagnosis, you can obviously say breast cancer, a cyst, um, fibroadenoma, and fat necrosis. So there are multiple differentials that you can tell the examiner. And this is how you examine the breast of a patient, ensure the privacy, do a thorough examination. Remember always to do a superficial palpation, deep palpation and periareolar palpation and end the examination by checking for the lymph nodes. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed as well. Thank you.